in the mainstream business coaching industry, there's a huge focus on emotions first. Um, if I feel confident, I'll be confident and then I'll do better in business. As someone who has helped small business owners after being failed by coaches or courses or mentors, I just want to say that perhaps there's nothing wrong with you. Perhaps there's nothing wrong with the business. Perhaps there's nothing wrong with how you're feeling. What if it's just a planning problem? I've seen that this is the truth for a lot of people who would pay for experiences to make them feel confident. But the issue there is that it's temporary. The minute a failure comes, the minute something uh, doesn't go your way, the confidence is gone. Long lasting confidence comes from having the right resources and tools on hand so you can lead yourself and a future team. If you feel like you've been on an emotional roller coaster with your business, it doesn't have to be that way. When we can learn to be stable and not have our emotions dictate our actions, that's when we're going to be able to lead our vision, execute activities, and show up for our business in a way where we can start seeing things change. For the past two years living off grid, I've been really given the opportunity to go within and to really strengthen my own leadership skills. And for me, that meant logical leading, planning, strategy, systems. In November, I hired my first teammate and uh, she was blown away by the support. The only way I got out of being tied to my business in the middle of everything was when I realized my business never needed me in the first place. The business just needed me to be more executive. And so if this resonates with you, I would invite you to learn more about what it means to be executive. So I made a video. I don't want you to have to make the same mistakes I did. So enjoy and thank you.